Steel Nation, I got your back. Let's get into it. When sports are life and life is sports, I'm James Simmons and I got five on it. So a couple of days ago, Ben Roethlisberger on his podcast uh, went on air talking a little bit about the OBJ pickup by the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, in that segment, he also went in a little bit about uh, Lamar's pocket presence and uh, Big Ben caught a lot of flack for the comments that he made. And when I say quite a lot of flack, uh, all of the networks, whether it be Undisputed, whether it be Stephen A. I mean, I can just name off a whole lot of folks that just was not happy with Ben said. And when I heard the clip, and I'm going to play it for you, uh, that little segment in its entirety, because I want you to hear what he said. I know a lot of you all already heard it, but I want to set it up and let you know what he said. And then I want to make some comments on it because I think people got it wrong. And if I were to listen to just a little bit of the soundbite, I would have got it wrong too. So check this clip out, Big Ben on the OBJ pickup and what that means for Lamar, especially Lamar in the pocket. It's a big deal, I think. I think it's a huge he deal. He gets, that gets locked in and Lamar comes back. What do you yeah. think that does to Lamar division? comes back and is playing um, happy, right? Like, is he just come back on a franchise tag where he's just kind of like, I really don't want to be here, I'm just collecting a check. Yeah. Or does he get a deal and he comes out there and he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out and do my thing. And then you got that dude out there on the outside. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be a problem. It's a big deal. A it is. That's a, that's, that's, that's a big boost. Yeah. Because you better put a safety. You know, with Lamar, you want to bring safeties down to stop help stop the run. Because you're not – you don't really fear Lamar's arm, um, his accuracy all the time. Sure. He's got a huge arm. He can make things happen when he scrambles and whatever. But you don't fear him just sitting in the pocket and picking you apart. Sure. So you can bring safeties down because you, you do fear him running because he's a different level runner. So you fear that. Yeah. So you bring safeties down. But now, if you got that guy on the outside, you better put a safety back, or it's one on one. You can just throw it to him. Mm-hmm. So it, it definitely creates um, some potential opportunities for that that offense and, and for um, Lamar to run if he has to, or to take those big shots down the field if he if he needs to. If they're bringing the safety. So there you have it. Um, I don't even know where to start. You know, I think first and foremost, from a pure football perspective. I don't think Ben was wrong. I don't think he was dissing Lamar, his pocket presence, his arm ability. I don't think he was dismissing any of that. You know, uh, if you listen really, really closely, it said that, you know, most people don't really, um, you know, fear Lamar's arm or or as his pocket presence. Um, but he, he said his accuracy uh, to be more specific. He said they don't really fear his accuracy accuracy to be more specific and that people would fear his mobility. And, you know, I don't think that was a slight because basically what he was doing was talking, you know, football one-on-one. If you've got two high safeties, you know, that's protecting against the pass. And if you think about what Baltimore has had over the last several years or pretty much since Lamar has been there, they haven't really had a deep threat. So they haven't really had to have two safeties, you know, over the top, really protecting, you know, that outside that teams do. They will bring their safeties down a little bit. You know, they'll give you that tight end who's been their leading receiver, yards, reception, so on and so forth. But what they're trying to do is to eliminate Lamar's, you know, very, very lethal legs. And I think that's smarter than any defense. So, you know, Uh, As much as people want to make something out of it, I think they're making, you know, a mountain out of a molehill. I don't think Big Ben was really dissing Lamar and his abilities to throw the ball in the pocket. Because if you take a look at it, and I'll put something up right here, you know, Lamar's numbers in the pocket, you know, are they rival Ben's, right? And not to say that he was looking at statistics and all of that type of stuff when he made this comment. But, you know, from a from a football perspective, for anybody who has watched Lamar play and has watched what the Baltimore Ravens have done with the makeup of their team, with the lack of outside receivers for the most part, you know, that are really going to strike that fear of that deep threat in you. Teams are going to do what they do. They're going to bring those safeties down, have a little extra in the box. They know Baltimore not only runs it with Lamar, but they also run it with their running backs. Just think it was football 101. Now, you know, could he may have used a little bit of different wording, you know, about old people don't really fear his arm or his accuracy and blah, 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 blah. I think it's a little bit too much. 
I think we're getting a little too sensitive around it. I don't think this was a hit to Lamar at all. I think it was just really talking about football 101. I don't know. That's just coming from a guy who, you know, played college football at the wide receiver position uh, for a couple years, then went off and coached a year of college football and really loves the game and um, has tried to be a student of the game. So not just about running around on athletic ability, but really looking at the X's and O's as to what happens during the course of a game down in distance what's the team makeup what's your strengths what's your weaknesses what I have to do to take away you know the things that you can do really really well that's going to cause damage and lead you to success and Lamar has been successful so you know just a little bit of my thoughts I'd love to hear what your comments are Steel the fans y'all been really really good to me since I put out my first video on I got five on it would love to hear what you have to say on Big Ben's take would love to hear what everybody has to say on Big Ben's take. Was he dissing him or was he just talking football 101? Hey, this is James. I got five on it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.